Hey, what's going on everybody? So in today's video, I'm going to show you how we can work with dates and times using Python. We will import the date time module. This allows us to work with dates and times using our system clock, our computer's clock. This video serves as more of an introduction. To create a date object, we will assign an object of date. Let me zoom in a little bit. We will access the date time module called the date method. Within the date method, we will pass in the following arguments, a year of our choosing. So for me, I'll say 2025, a month, one corresponds to January. These are numeric months and a day, a day of the month. I will say the second. If I was to print the state object, here's what it outputs. The year is 2025, January 2nd. To get the date right now, Let's say today. This will return a date object that represents today. Access the date time module. Access the class of date. Then call the today method to return the date of today. Let's print today. Currently, I'm recording this video July 14th, 2024. For me, that is the result of my today object when I print it. Now we'll work with time. I will create a time object, access the date time module, call the time method. We have to pass in hours, minutes, and then seconds. So for the hour, let's say 12, 30, and zero seconds. I will print the current time. It is 1230. Now to get the time right now on our system clock, I will create a date time object of now equals access the date time module. Now within the date time module, there is a date time class we have to access. We will access that. I know it looks kind of silly. Date time dot date time dot the now method. So we're accessing the date time module. There's a built in date time class we have to access. Then within that class, there's a now method. What is the time right now? According to my system clock. This returns a date and a time, July 14th, 2024. It is just after 9 a.m. We can format the appearance of the string. Here's how. I'm going to reassign our date time object of now. Our date time object has a string format time method, strf time. We're going to pass in a string and include some format specifiers. Let's say I would like to display the hour first. I'm going to add a percent. These format specifiers you can find according to the date time documentation online. So I will display the hours. That would be percent %h, percent %m for minutes, percent %s for seconds. Let's see what we're working with. We have the hours the minutes, and the seconds. I will separate each of these with the colon. That's better. Now I'll add the date. I'll start with the month. I will add a format specifier of lowercase m, then the day, a format specifier of d, then the year. Format specifier, capital Y. Here's the result. We have the month, the day, and the year. I'll add a dash to separate these. That's better. Or if you prefer the day first rather than the month, we can switch this around. It depends on how you read dates in your country. Now we're going to cover an exercise. We're going to see if the current date and time has passed a target date and time. So we are going to create a target date time equals access the date time module. We will create a new date time. So now we have to pass in a date and a time. For my date time, let's say it's something far into the future, like the year 2030, January 2nd. For the hour, it will be 12, 30, and one second. I'm going to get the time right now, which I will name current date time 
equals access the date time module, access the date time class, call the now method to return the current date and time right now. Using an if statement, I will see if our target date time is less than the current date time. Have we already passed this date? If our target date is less than the current date, that means this date and time has already passed. I will print the following if that's the case. Target date has passed. Else I will print target date has not passed. Here's the result. Target date has not passed. What if I set the target date to the year 2020? Well, then the target date has passed. So that's how we can check to see if a date and time has already passed. Has it elapsed? All right, everybody. So that is an introduction to working with dates and times using Python.